Hi there, my name is Christopher from DataBridge and today I would like to show you how you can install an SMTP mail notification when a reload task fails. And this is a little known fact, it has been around for a while and my friend Levi Turner, pre sales of the year 2019, has uh, created a video about it already. But I think it's still not commonly known and it's so damn simple, I have to show this in the next 30 seconds we will have a working notification so first of all you have to download this xml file find your way to this folder and drop the file and that's it and of course you have to adjust the SMTP mail headers so so to connect to the right server with the right password uh, and the right recipient so this is not part of the setup okay uh, now you have this file now we just need to have a app that fails upon reload where is it when we need it usually you get it when you don't so let's create a simple script that always fails right so here we are, we have a script with one line that is not known, so this will fail. Let's create a task for that app. And start the task. And boom, here's the email. And that's it. Of course, now you will start like, great, I have an enterprise server with multiple nodes. Well, install this XML file on all the nodes that are concerned with reloads. Might be one of them that is dedicated, might be two or a couple of. Second, you will say, well, I won't send the email upon fail to always the same group of recipients, right? Uh, and this is where it starts to become complicated with this XML. Uh, the, the technique that this is based on is called an SMTP appender of an Apache log library called Log4Net. And this is not very sophisticated. So you have as a context of what is being sent in the email or as a decision on who to send it to, the only reference is that very line of a log. So there's nothing like, oh, you could look up the owner of the app in the QMC. Mm, no. And uh, let's have a look what is the context of that very line. So I've also shared another example of an XML file where I have different groups of recipients for at least two different groups of apps, but this becomes pretty soon very complicated as you have to repeat that SMTP block all the time and it's not really scaling well uh, in terms of complexity of configuration. So if you're up to something really sophisticated, um, have a look into Click Alerting which is a chargeable add-on product for ClickSense Enterprise for Windows customers. Or you may also write your own app that uses the free web connector called SMTP connector, which allows sending mails from ClickScript. And of course, with that, you can parse through logs, search for any criteria, query the QRS API, nada, nada, nada. Uh, all that can be done, of course, with uh, a script logic and well that's it for today uh, i hope i see you the next time in a video if you like it as usual subscribe to my channel and have a great weekend bye bye